So if you consider this as the water surface, okay, this is the water of a lake or a pond or a river. Land grows on the surface of it. Stem na uske surface me grow ta hai paise. Stem grows on the surface of the water. And the stem is divided into repeated node. Deko, these are the nodes. Or do nodes ke beech mein jo jaga hai, wo hai internodes. So this is the stem. We divide the stem into node and internode. Okay. Jahaan par bhi no node hai na. Uske upper, wherever you can see a node, uske upper, upper on the up one surface, you can see leaves coming. You can see leaves arising. On niche ke side pe, you can see roots arising. Okay, node ke jage par roots aega aur upar ke surface par leaf leaf aega. Aise. This kind of modification is known as offset. Kya hota hai? Stem grows horizontally on the water surface. Usme nodes aur internodes rahega. Nodes ke surface pe upar ke ek side par leaf aega, susra side par root aega. ये प्लांट अगर ना ऐसे कट हो जाएगा फ्रैगमेंटेशन होकर दो अलग प्लांट बन जाता है दिस वाज वन प्लांट अगर कट हुआ तो दो अलग प्लांट सो दिस इज ऑफसेट एग्जांपल फॉर इट इज पिस्टिया एंड हाइड्रिला पिस्टिया एंड हाइड्रिला ओके डिड एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टैंड ऑफसेट ऑल 10 पीपल नाइन पीपल ओवर हियर Yes or no? Okay, okay, fine. So, yeh hai offset. Next kind of modification what we are going to see is runner. Yeh bilkul offset jaisa hai hai. It's exactly like offset. Offset paani mein hai, runner land mein hai. Beko, yeh hai stem. Yeh wala, yeh pala horizontally jo hai na, yeh hai stem. Stem ke beech mein nodes hai. Yeh no, runner is in the terrestrial habitat. Offset is in the aquatic habitat. Runner or offset same hai. Lekin offset is in the aquatic habitat. Runner is in the terrestrial habitat. So you can see nodes rahega. Node se aega u ek side per leaves aega. Dusre side per roots aega. Example for runner is grass and oxalis. Okay. Did you get this? Please write down this part. So I can go ahead right next we will go ahead and once you're done let me know uh, a simple diagram like this you'll draw what i have drawn here no this diagram is more than enough yes
Yeah, yeah, I'm just writing. Whatever I explain, I'm... Once done, let me know. Okay, so runner ho gaya, uh, offset ho gaya. Next one is stone on. Stone on, example for this is strawberry, mint and jasmine. Yaha par kya hota hai ki proper ek stem rehta hai jo aerial rehta hai, upar, plant ke aisa upar aata hai. Usme bohat saare branches rehta hai. Aur ye hai under soil. Okay. Or you can see roots, underground roots. Okay, and there will be branches containing leaves. I say branches with their containing leaves. क्या होता है कि ये नीचे वाला ब्रांच है ना ये प्रॉपर ब्रांच जैसे रहता है बट लेटर आफ्टर सम डेज व्हाट इट विल डू इज लाइक ये दिस वन सबमर्जेस इनटू द सॉइल इट गोज इनटू द सॉइल द लोअर मोस्ट ब्रांच गोज इनटू द सॉइल ग्रोस हॉरिजॉन्टली एंड देन इट फॉर्म्स अ सेपरेट प्लांट यहां से एक सेपरेट प्लांट आएगा जिसके पास खुद का रूट्स होगा ऐसे देखो एक ब्रांच वेंट इनटू द सॉइल 
and gave rise to a separate plant. This branch is known as stolon, which goes into the soil and gives rise to a separate plant. This is known as stolon. See, here, this branch is going to be a separate plant. This plant is going to be a stolon. Example is strawberry, mint, and jasmine. Please write down. Next, we are studying about suckers. Suckers example is banana, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum is a yellow color flower. Which temple may use hota na, chota sa, okay? And pineapple. Yahan par kya hota hai ki? Ye stem aur ye root. Ye root hai na? Ye root is andar ja kar ek naya wala plant dega. Stolon mein Stem went under and gave rise to a new plant. Here, root give rise to a new plant. Usko bolenge sucker. You might have seen many times banana, plantain. Plantain hai na? Plantain ke around is a chote chote plants rente. Pla plants aayenge. Dekho. This is the main plantain branch. The main banana plant. Ye wala. Iske side mein yahan par ek chota sa plant hai. Yahan par ek chota sa plant hai. How is this arising? root is giving rise to the plantlet. Okay, usko liye bolenge sucker. Please write down.
Okay. Is it done? So you can see over here for aerial modification. See this part is the stem. So you have seen some climbers. Na? See this is a stem. This stem. Okay, I'll draw it over here and show. If you consider this as a stem. This is seen mainly seen in climbers. This stem at the nodal region. At the node region, you know, there should be a development of leaf. Nodal region se aega leaf. This is mandatory. And you know between the stem and the leaf that there is an axillary bud. Right? Axillary bud. What is the function of an axillary bud? Axillary bud give rise to a branch. Like in tendril may, instead of development of a branch, you can see a tendril formation. And this tendril holds any support and helps the plant to grow up. So this is the tendril. See, it is coming. This is the axillary bud. You can see over here. This is the axillary bud. And the tendril is coming out, winding around this pipe, and it is going up. Okay. And this gives the support for a plant to climb this pipe. This is tendril. And example for that is. Uh, it's, it's written passiflora, but uh, we'll see what is given in your textbook. That example we will write. So just write tendril and draw the diagram. Okay. Next is about stem modification. Stem modification, another one modification is thorns. So you have seen rose plant or some citrus plants having thorns, right? So if this is the stem, again over here, Stem, node region se kya aega? Leaf aega. Aur yahaan par axillary bud rahe gai. Axillary bud, bud should have been developed into a branch. Lekin this axillary bud develops into a thorn. So instead of a branch, you're getting a thorn. Rose may, ya for all citrus plant produces thorns. You can see over here, dekho. Here, here you see here, this part. Instead of axillary bud, Developing into a branch, it is developing into thorn. In Bougainvillea, this is a plant, Bougainvillea plant. Over there, you can see. Okay. This is thorn modification. The so, tendril over, thorn over. Now, what is phylloclade? What is phylloclade? In uh, xerophytic plants, those, those who are living in the desert condition, stem, stem which is, which normally stem should have leaves. But this stem gets modified into a leaf-like structures like this. Stem gets modified into a leaf-like structures. Now you'll be thinking, stem agar leaf pan gaya, to leaf kahan par hai? Iske upar jo kante dikta hai na, all these spines, these are the leaves. So what is a phylloclade? Photosynthetic stem. So you can write it as stem. Modified into photosynthesis kis ka kaam hai, leaf ka kaam hai, abhi stem kar raha hai. So, isi liye I am telling stem modified into leaf.
look this is euphorbia plant here stem this is the stem which is green in color but they are they have modified it to leaves photosynthesis is done by stem leaves are developed to thorns why is this there because to avoid transpiration leaves have a very thin layer of cuticle and transpiration is very high if it is stem then transpiration is less okay so this is done to avoid transpiration did you get this did you understand the three types? Tendril, thorn, and phylloclid? Okay, now write down. And once done, let me know. Okay, Ankit. Listen over here. Abhi stem ka kaam photosynthesis nahi hai. Stem ka kaam sirf leaf aur uh, buds de na. Lekin ye stem hai na, aise dikhte hai. Ye jo dikh raha hai na, these strict structures. These structures you can see, no? Ye stem, leaf nahi hai. All these structures are stems. Stem has become flat and they are green in color and they are doing photosynthesis. Abhi leaf kaha par hai? Jo yahaan par spines dikhta hai na? On opensia, this is opensia. You can see spines on it, no? These spines are the leaves. Abhi ye kya hai? Ye hai stem. And the spines at the edge are the leaves. Okay? Why this has happened? Because these are desert plants. If leaf was there, leaf would have done uh, photosynthesis. Uh, leaf would have uh, if leaf was the leaf has a very thin layer of cuticle. So kya hoga? Transpiration zyada hoga. Bhot patla hai leaf. Water loss hoga. So to avoid water loss, loss, stem acts like a leaf, and leaves are turned into spines. Ab samajh mein aaya? Did you get it? Ankit, sorry, Aniket. Okay.
Okay, this ends the stem. Okay, stem modification. So we will go back to the textbook and read a bit of it. Okay, so what is a feature that distinguishes a stem from a root? A stem is a descending part of the axis bearing branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It develops from the plumule of the embryo of a germinating seed. The stem base nodes and internodes. I already told you all in the last class. The region of the stem where the leaves are born are called nodes while the internodes are the portion between the two nodes. The stem base buds which may be terminal or axillary. A stem is generally green when young and later often becomes woody and dark. First, it will be green in color, later it becomes woody and dark. But in philoclad, it is always green in color. Only. The main function of the stem is spreading out branches. See, this is the main function of the spread. Spreading of branches, bearing leaves, flowers and fruits. It conducts water, minerals and photosynthesis and does photosynthesis. Some stem perform the function of storage of food, support, protection and other vegetative product propagation. Now we will see what are the modifications we are going to find. The stem may not only be typically like what they are accepted, expected to be. They are modified to perform different functions. Underground stem of potato. Potato is an example for tuber. Ginger, turmeric is for rhizome. Zameen kand and colocasia is for com. Com is zameen kand and colocasia. You can write over there. Zameen kand and colocasia are the modifier modified to store food in them. So these stems store food in them. They are underground stems for storage. They also act as an organ of perination. Perination means whenever uh, leaves have fallen and there is no sunlight, when leaves cannot, cannot do photosynthesis, so the stored food is being used. So stored food is in the underground stem. Mein. So they are giving food to the other parts of the plant. To the tide over the store, tide over the unfavorable condition for growth. Next is tendril, aerial modification which develops from the axillary bud are slender. See, it develops from axillary bud. Tendril, which is developing from the axillary bud is known as stem tendril. Or ek padne wale hai leaf tendril. So, leaf tendril is developing from the leaf. If from the axillary bud, the stem uh, tendril is developing, to usko bolenge stem tendril. Are slender and spirally coiled, which help the plant to climb, such as, uh, such as in God families, Cucumber, pumpkin, watermelon, and grapevines. Axillary bud of the stem may also modify it into woody straight pointed thorns. 
टॉन्स के लिए एग्जाम्पल इन योर टेक्सट बुक दीज एग्जाम्पल ओनली यू टू रिमेम्बर सिट्रस एंड बोगन विला सो एक्सिलरी बर्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग राइस टू अ ब्रांच इफ इट गिव राइस टू अंडल इट इज कॉल्ड स्टेम टेंडल If it is giving rise to a thorn, then it is thorn. If it is giving rise to a sharp woody structure which pricks you, that is the thorn. They protect the plant from browsing animals. Some plants of arid region modified their stem into a flattened opentia or a fleshy cylindrical euphorbia. So here, what has happened? Stem is modified into a flat structure. So this is philoclade. They are speaking about this paragraph is about philoclade. Okay, they contain chlorophyll. They contain chlorophyll and carry and carry out photosynthesis. <laughs> Underground stem of underground stem of some plants such as grass and strawberry etc. spread to the new niche and ये runners के बारे में बोल रहे हैं okay this is about runners the new niche in which where the older parts die and the new plants are formed. In plants like mint, jasmine, a slender lateral branch arises from the base of the main axis, and after growing aerially for some time, arch downwards to touch the ground. So this paragraph is about a branch goes into the soil, stole on. This is about stole on. Okay. So this about. A rattle branch from with a short internodes and even a nodes bearing a rosette of leaves and a tuft of roots is formed in the aquatic like Pistia and Iconia. This is about offset. In banana, pineapple and chrysanthemum, the lateral branch originates from the basal of the underground portion of the main step. Grows horizontally beneath the soil and the then comes out obliquely upward, giving rise to a leafy shoot. So this part is about sucker. Okay, so we have completed everything. See this, uh, which this is a picture of a thorn. See axillary bud se thorn aaya. Ye hai oxalis. So this is the example of a runner. See from the runner, a leaf aega, a root aega. ओके यहां पर देखो दीज आर एक्सिलरी बर्ड्स विच आर डेवलपिंग इनटू टेंडर सो दिस इज अ कुकुम्बर क्यूकुम्बर्स प्लांट दिस इज अ ट्यूबर राइजोम जमीन कंड एग्जांपल फॉर कॉम ओके डिड यू गेट दिस एवरीबॉडी डिड एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टैंड एनी डाउट्स Did everybody understand? Yes or no? Shall I move ahead? Waiting for your reply. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so next we okay Aniket. Next we are going to study about leaf. So what is a leaf? A leaf is the from it arises on the uh, where do you see a leaf? A leaf is always at the nodal region. Okay, so this is how a leaf typical leaf looks like. So the stalk of the leaf is known as petiole. Petiole is the stalk of the leaf, and ye hai base of the ye hai base of the leaf. This is the base of the leaf. And petiole base of the leaves ki niche, you can find structures like this. Or is ko bolte hum stipules. So when leaf was in a bud, this leaf like structure was protecting it. Ye hai uska midrip, and these are the veinlets. And this region where photosynthesis happens is known as lamina. And this is the apex of the leaves. So draw the structure, everybody. Give me two minutes, I'll be back.
Okay, so venation is nothing but arrangement of veins. So you always see reticulate venation in dicot plants and parallel venation in monocot plants. Just mention parallel venation monocot plants and reticulate venation dicot plant. <laughs> Yeah. Next, you can see petiole. What is petiole? It is the stalk of the leaf, which brings the leaf away from the stem. It should be is corrected. Which brings the leaf away from the stem. So it pulls the leaf out to do photosynthesis, to flutter in the air and to increase the temperature. Transpiration. So, this is the function of the petiole. See, some plants at the base of the petiole, there will be stipules. In some plants, especially in the family Fabaceae, at the second family, okay, if this is the petiole, if this is the petiole, you have to, it's all wet. If this is the petiole, If this is the petiole, the base of the petiole is swollen. The base of the petiole is swollen. Like this. So, yahan se aega leaf. Ye leaf. So, base of the petiole is swollen. This swollen base, we call it as pulvinous base. We call this as pul. Vinous, we call this as pulvinous base. Base of the petiole will be swollen. Ye kis me dikega whole Fabaceae family. For this example, will be whole Fabaceae family. P, uh, gram, um, arhar, wo sab ka example. Whole Fabaceae will be showing this kind of adaptation. What is petiole? Ye wala, ye stalk. This stem is there, no? The stem of the leaf. Isko stalk bolte hai. Stalk of the leaf is the petiole. Normally, plants ka swelling nahi hoga. So, if yahan par dekho, you can see the swelling. So, the base of the petiole is, has a swelling. Usko bolte hai pulvinous base. Monocots mein kya hoga? Agar ye plant hai, unke base mein aisa sheet rahega. Aisa ek covering rahega petiole ke base mein. Usko bolenge sheeting leaf base. This is seen in monocots. Example for this is monocot plants. Monocot plant. 
ओके Okay, now we'll see types of leaves. Okay, okay, types of leaves. If a plant is having this kind of leaf, SA wala, see, SA wala leaf, isko bolenge, ek plant mein, agar ye plant hai, plant ke node se, SA wala leaf aega. Isko hum bolenge, ek hi leaf, isko hum bolenge, simple leaf. Okay, simple leaf. और दूसरे टाइप की लीफ है उसका अनदर टाइप इज कॉम्पाउंड लीफ इन कॉम्पाउंड लीफ दिस काइंड ऑफ लीव्स देखो दिस इज नोन एज पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड लीफ यू कैन सी इन करी लीव्स करी लीव्स कड़ी पत्ता में या फिर व्हिच वन नीम यू कैन सी दिस काइंड तो यहां क्या हो जाएगा कि ऐसे वाले दिस इज लाइक अ नॉर्मल लीफ लेकिन ये लीफ ना ऐसे इट हैज बीन टोन so the leaves have torn like this the leaves have torn like this and form like this so kadi patta mein na if your kadi patta is like this This whole thing is a leaf. ये पूरा है ना ये पूरा एक वन लीफ है और इसमें इंडिविजुअल यूनिट्स आर नोन एज लीफलेट्स इंडिविजुअल यूनिट्स आर नोन एज लीफ लेट्स ओके सो वेन एवर मम्मी से पुट सम कड़ी पत्ता पुट वन कड़ी पत्ता यू शुडेंट पुट ये एक ये पूरा लीफ डालना चाहिए ये पूरा एक लीफ है इंडिविजुअल यूनिट इज नोन एज लीफलेट ये जो मिड्रिप दिखता है ना ये मिड्रिप है प्लांट का और ये वेन्स है एंड दिस इज द लमाइना लमाइना हैज बीन टोल डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड आई 
Understood? Understood or not about pinnately compound? Okay. So in compound leaves, there are two types. Ek hai pinnately compound. Tum logon ko padna hai. Ek pinnately compound. This is pinnately compound. And ye palmately compound. Palmately compound, why do we say? It is also like this only. But ye na, hamara hand, palm jaysa dikta hai. And from one point, you can see the leaflet is arising. So, ye bhi one complete leaf hai. And individual units are known as leaflets. Did you understand it? Everybody get this? Write down and let me know once it's done.
Okay. Next, we are going to study philotaxy. So, what is philotaxy? It is the arrangement of leaf on the branch. How it is being arranged? That is philotaxy. If this is the stem and stem mein kya rahega? Notes rahega. Do notes ke beech mein jaga hai, usko internotes bolte hai. Agar ek leaf yahaan par hai aur us dusra leaf yahaan par if it is like this, this kind of arrangement is known as opposite arrangement. Okay, what is acropetal? Okay, I'll tell you about this later. Now we will see. This kind of arrangement is an opposite. See, this leaf is opposite to this. This leaf is opposite to it. Okay, that is opposite philotaxy. If some plants may a leaf yahan se aega or a leaf yahan se aega. Yeah. So they are alternating in each new. Usko bolenge alternate philotaxy. Yahan par kya ho jayega ki agar world philotaxy mein ye nodes hai aur yahan se bhi ek yahan se aage se bhi yahan par yahan se bhi ek leaf aega. पीछे से भी एक लीफ आएगा यहां से भी एक लीफ आएगा और यहां से भी ऐसा अरेंजमेंट फ्रॉम द नोट्स ऑल द फोर साइड्स इफ यू कैन सी लीव्स अरेंजिंग लाइक दिस दैट इज वर्ल्ड सो वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फिलोटैक्सी ऑपोजिट फिलोटैक्सी अल्टरनेट फिलोटैक्सी एंड वर्ल्ड फिलोटैक्सी ओके सो नाउ व्हाट व्हाट इज एक्रोपेटल सक्सेशन इज यू ऑलवेज सी इन लीव्स यंगर लीव्स आर एट द टिप ये है टिप and this is at the base. Younger leaves, the new leaves are always at the tip and the old leaves are towards the base. Aise arrangement ko hum bolte hai, acropetal arrangement. What is acropetal arrangement? Young leaves are at the tip and the old leaves are at the base. This kind of arrangement is known as acropetal arrangement. Did you understand? If so, please write down. And once it's done, please let me know. Only Aniket is responding, not nobody else. Why is that? Others are there in the class or in your own world? Okay, fine. Write down. And if it's in the textbook, we don't have to write. Uh, no need of writing, but just mark it. It's in ah. the textbook, right? Ah. Yeah, this is in the textbook.
Okay. So we will move to the, yeah. So alternate philotaxy in a textbook, what's it, what example is given? Example is sunflower, mustard and china rose. So these are the examples for alternate philotaxy. So they have leaves alternatively arranged. Opposite ke liye, guava and calotropis is an example. World ke liye, alstonia and medium. So these are the examples. Write down. Next, we'll be talking about modification. First modification is fleshy leaf. Now, onion was an example for bulb, no? I told you, ye center wala jo onion, if you cut the onion, if you cut the onion into half, you can see that yahan par ek white color ka structure rahega niche. This is a white color structure. And below that, you can see the presence of root. You can see the presence of root. So what is this? This is the stem. This is the stem. And all the other things which wound around the stem, the ones what we eat, these are the leaves. So what are we eating? Onion. Onion is a leafy vegetable. So vegetable. Okay. So we are going to eat the leaves of the onion. And they store starch. And that is why we call it as fleshy leaves. So onion is a leaf modification. The part what we eat in the onion is leaf. Okay, that is fleshy leaf. So write down fleshy leaf, example onion. Okay. Next you will see now leaf tendril. We saw stem tendril. What happened in stem tendril? Axillary bud instead of giving rise to a branch gave rise to a tendril. Here now if this is a plant these are the nodes and you know from the nodes arises leaves from the nodes arises leaves now instead of a leaf here also from the node arises a leaf now instead of a leaf if a tendril arises then i will call this tendril as leaf tendril now what happened in stem tendril there were leaves we could see the presence of leaves Okay, in stem tendril, in the cucumber family, sorry, god family, you could see leaf was there. But axillary part developed the tendril. Now, this is the stem tendril. You should know the proper difference. So, this is the stem tendril. If an axillary part is developing into tendril, then it is known as stem tendril. And if instead of leaf, there is a tendril, then we will call it as leaf tendril. Example is pea family. Write down properly. A leaf tendril is instead of leaf. I'll write here. Instead of leaf, tendril arises.
Okay, write down. See here. Now, this is arising from an axillary bud. Deekho? This is arising from an axillary bud. So, this is a stem tendril. Yahan par deekho, instead of leaf, a tendril is arising. So, this is leaf tendril. So, you can make a proper difference. Pata axillary bud se aaya, is a stem tendril. Hai. Ye leaf se aaya, so this is leaf tendril. Okay. Okay. Next is spines. Now, some leaves, in order to reduce transpiration, develop into spines. These are not thorns. Thorns develop hota hai axillary buds. Hai. Because thorns or spines are very different. Hai. If a, a pricky thing is developing from a pricky substance is developing from an axillary bud, it is thorn. If a leaf is developing into a pricky substance, then it is spine. So, over here, what is happening? Leaf. Leaf forms a pricky substance. Pricky. So, rose ke thorns chupte hai. So, rose me thorns hai. Okay. But in cactus, these are called as spines. You can't say these are thorns. Okay. Uh, they are not synonyms. Thorns and spines aren't synonyms. Leaves forms a pricky structure. To avoid transpiration. Structure. Avoid. Transpiration. Okay. 
ओके एग्जाम्पल इज ओपनशिया एंड यूफोरबिया वो इफिलोक्लेड का ही एग्जाम एंड यूफोरबिया डेजर्ट प्लांट में ये पिटियोल है ना ये पिटियोल ये वाले इसको पिटियोल बोलते हैं हम इज द स्टॉक ऑफ द लीप ओके ये पिटियोल ऐसे लीप वाले स्ट्रक्चर जैसे बनते हैं पिटियोल चेन ट्रांस चेंजेस इन टू अ लीफ और ये सब गिर जाता है सो इफ अ पिटियोल इज फोटोसिंथेटिक ओके इट इज नोन एज फिलोल इफ अ स्टेम इज डूइंग फोटोसिंथेसिस स्टेम एक्ट्स लाइक अ लीफ फिलोक लीफ पिटियोल एक्ट्स लाइक अ लीफ इज फिलोल Example is Australian acacia. If you don't understand in diagram, I'll just Google it and show you all. ओके सो ये जो दिखता है ना ये लीफ जैसे ऑस्ट्रेलियन अकेशिया में ये है पिटियोल ये लीफ नहीं है ये पिटियोल है ओके उसका लीफ ना देखो ये है उसका लीफ ये गिर जाता है एंड दिस पिटियोल बिकम्स अ फ्लैट लीफ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सी पिटियोल इंस्टेड ऑफ लुकिंग लाइक अ स्टेम इट इज लुकिंग लाइक अ लीफ सी दिस ये बड़ा वाला पिटियोल अभी वेन दिस बिकम्स एज बिग एज दिस नो दीज लीव दीज लीव फॉल्ड सो दे हैव पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड लिप्स सो दिस पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड लिप्स फॉल्ड नाउ 
So this is PTO, fill load. Did you all understand fill load? Did everybody get? Devika, Gauri, Ronak, did you all understand fill load? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is fill load. This is seen in Australian acacia. See, actually these are its leaves. But these leaves fall down. See, these are the leaves. And this is the petiole, which is doing the photosynthesis. Yeah, write down. Okay. Next is picture. This is also one kind of modification. So this kind of modification is seen in insectivorous plant. So leaf develops into a picture. This looks like a picture, pot, no? So leaf develops into this kind of structure to trap the insects. Example for this is Nepenthes. See, this is a leaf which is developed into a pot-like structure to trap the insects. Okay? Picture example Nepenthes. Fine? Now we will go back to the textbook. Okay. So leaf is a lateral, generally flattened structure bone on the stem. It develops at the node and bears a bud in, in its axial. The axillary bud later develops into a branch. Leaves originate from the shoot apical meristem and are arranged in an acropetal order. So you know what is acropetal? Younger leaves towards the tip and older leaves towards the base. Write down over there, acropetal order. They are the most important vegetative organ for photosynthesis. A typical leaf consists of three main parts. Ache leaf base, petiole, lamina. The leaf is attached to the stem by the leaf base and may bear two lateral small leaf-like structures called stipules. So leaf ke base pe yahan pa stipules rahega. In monocotyledon, the leaf base expands into a sheath covering the stem partially or wholly. So, usko bolenge leaf sheath. In leguminous plant, leguminous plant matlab fabaceae. Write down leguminous plant ke upar, write down fabaceae plants. The leaf base may become swollen, which is known as pulvianus. The petiole helps to hold the blade of the leaf. See, petiole is helping to hold the leaf. Long, thin, flexible petiole allow the leaf blades to flutter in the wind, thereby cooling the leaf and to bring fresh air to the leaf surface. What okay. The lamina or the leaf blade is the green expanded part of the leaf in uh, with veins and veinlets. There, there, there is usually a middle prominent vein which is known as midrib. Vein provides rigidity to the leaf blade and acts as a channel of transport for water and minerals and food materials. The shape, margin and apex surface and extent of the incisions of the leaf varies in the different leaves. Now coming to the venation. Arrangement of veins and the veins in the lamina of the leaf is termed as venation. Venation ka matlab kya hai? Arrangement of veins or also veinlets. When the veins are in the form of network, aise, iski jaise, they are in the form of network and usko bolte hai reticulate venation. 
when the veins are parallel to each other yahan par dekho all veins are parallel to each other within the lamina the venation is termed as parallel leaves of dicotyledon plants generally possess reticulate venation while parallel venation is a characteristic of monocotyledon plant so monocotyledon plant ka characterize is parallel venation types of leaves a leaf is said to be simple when the lamina is entire matlab pura leaf without any uh, kuch bhi uh, tearing nahi hua hai pura leaf hai to usko bolenge entire or when incised incised ka matlab hai agar ye leaf hai some leaves hibiscus leaves you see this kind of at the end no you have this kind of margin usko bolenge incised पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड में क्या हुआ कि ये इंसिशन ना बहुत डीप चला गया है इट हैज रीच द मिड ड्रिप एंड दिस वन डेवलप्स इनटू अ लीफलेट ओके ऐसे वाले को भी अगर ये नहीं इफ दिस पार्ट इज नॉट देयर इफ इट इज नॉर्मल दिस काइंड ऑफ लीफ या फिर सम लीव आर दे स्मूथ लीव लाइक दिस वी विल कॉल इट अ सिंपल लीव वेन द इंसिशन ऑफ द लमाइना रीच इज द रीच अप टू द मिड रिप ब्रेकिंग इट इन टू नंबर ऑफ लीव लेट सी इंसिशन हैज रीच रीच इंसिशन हैज रीच टिल द मिड रिप एंड ईच पार्ट इज ईच यूनिट इज नोन एज लीफ लेट देन वी कॉल इट एज कॉम्पाउंड लिव a bud is present in the axil of the petiole in both the simple and compound leaf both simple and compound leaf ke beech mein stem and leaf ke beech mein ek bud rahega wo hai axillary bud but not in the axil of the leaflets ha huh. you can see agar aisa hai ye wala hai and if this is the stem ye agar maine stem bada diya aisa kar diya i can see the axillary bud at this region yahan rahega axillary bud wait a second सपोज इफ आई एक्सटेंड दिस स्टेम पार्ट इफ आई एक्सटेंड द स्टेम पार्ट ओके वे विल आई फाइंड एक्सिलरी बर्ड आई फाइंड एक्सिलरी बर्ड ओवर हियर I will never find axillary bud here. Here you will never see the axillary bud. No axillary bud over here. Axillary bud is always found over here. So I will consider this complete as a one leaf or individual unit. Ko me bulaonge. Individual unit is known as leaflet. Understood. नंबर ऑफ लीफलेट्स हा कहा गया हा अ बट इज प्रेजेंट इन द एक्सेल ऑफ द पिटियोल इन बोथ सिंपल एंड कंपाउंड लीफ बट नॉट इन द एक्सेल ऑफ द बट नॉट इन द एक्सेल ऑफ द लीफलेट्स ऑफ द कंपाउंड लिफ्ट सो यहां पर यू कैन नॉट सी बट यू कैन सी बट ओनली एट दिस रीच यहां पर ओके so in compound leaf may be of two types isko bolenge pinately compound leaf example is neem curry leaves also cotton silk is an example for palmately compound leaf so this looks like your palm okay so here palmately compound leaf in palmately compound leaves the leaflets are attached to a common point at the tip of the petiole as in silk cotton next coming to the phyllotaxy Phyllotaxy is the pattern of arrangement of leaf on the stem or a branch. This is usually of three types: alternate, opposite, word. In alternate type of phyllotaxy, a single leaf arises at each node. In alternate manner, as in China rose, mustard, and sunflower. You all know. In opposite, see China rose is an example for alternate. In opposite, a pair of leaves arise from each node. And, and lie opposite to each other as in calotropus as in guava ye guava me you can see over here they are in opposite in more than two leaves arising at the node is forms a whorl so it forms like a whorl ek node ke charo side par leaves rahega alstonia is an example 
Next, you will see modification of leaves. Leaves are often modified to perform function other than photosynthesis. They are converted into tendrils for climbing as in peas or into spines for the defense as in cacti. The fleshy leaf of onion and garlic store food. In some plants such as Australian acacia, the leaves are short and uh, small and short-lived. The petioles in these leaf plants expand, become green and synthesize food. Okay, which what are they talking about? Fillode. They are talking about fillode. Leaves of certain of certain insectivorous plant act as a pitcher plant. Venus flytrap are modified into leaves. Okay, so did you follow leaves, everybody? Did you all understand this part? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now I will give you all 10 minutes break. After that, we will start with the next part that is in flowers. Fine, take a break.
मैम डन
Mam. Okay, shall we begin? Is everybody back from the break? 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 Yes. Okay. So next we have inflorescence. Okay. So what is an inflorescence? So inflorescence always develops from the axillary bud or terminal bud. It's terminal bud or axillary bud gives rise to an inflorescence. Inflorescence is nothing but a special branch which is coming either from the axillary bud or from the terminal bud. And there is arrangement of flowers. Okay. In there is a branch. We call that branch at uh, the special branch as floral axis. Uske upar arrangement of flowers. Abhi dekho. Ye hai ek special branch which is coming from axillary bud. Ye red color ko jo dikta hai na. These are the flowers. Arrangement of flowers. Or ye hai floral axis. Isko bolenge floral axis. On top of this flowers have been arranged. So that is inflorescence, arrangement of flowers on floral axis. Okay. Next, we have three types of inflorescence in your textbook. Okay, one is racemos, second one is cymos or solitary. First, we will study solitary inflorescence. Agar ek axillary bud ne ek, in, ek floral axis diya, aur us floral axis mein sirf ek hi flower hai. So, this inflorescence ko hum bolenge solitary inflorescence. Solitary inflorescence, we will call it a cyme. Cyme lik sakte ho inflorescence. Example is hibiscus. Ek floral axis mein ek hi flower. Okay? Agar ek floral axis mein bohut sare flowers hai, lekin usme na young flowers are at the tip and old flowers are at the base aise wale arrangement ko kya bulate hain hum what kind of arrangement where young flowers are at the tip and the old flowers are at the base aise wale arrangement ko kya bulate hain hum we just saw in the leaf if young leaf is at the tip and the older leaves are at the base what kind of arrangement it is called as everybody Yeah, somebody is trying. Yes, Cristobal, what kind of arrangement it is called as? Can't hear you. You can put in the chat box if your mic is not working. Drop in chat box. Acropetal succession. Young flowers are at the tip and the older flowers are at the base. Acropetal succession, we call it as. So, this is acropetal succession. So, what happens? This floral accent keeps on growing. It lamba lamba hoga or young, young flowers yahan par upar rahege. So, we say racemose inflorescence mein hai indefinite growth. So, it has indefinite. Kyunki ye lamba hota rahega. So, we say it has indefinite growth. NIT, we call this as indefinite growth. Example is Brassicaceae and Fabaceae is the example. What are the examples? Both Brassicaceae and family, Fabaceae families have racemos inflorescence. Flowers coming, inflorescence of these um, families have racemos inflorescence. Please write down and let me know once it's done.
Okay. Good. Next is cymos inflorescence. Over here, you see, this is opposite of racemos. Racemos mein humne kya dekha tha? Young flowers were at the tip and the older flowers were at the base. Yahan kya ho jayega ki ek branch aay, ek inflorescence axis aayega. Look over here. There is one inflorescence axis. It has a flower. Ek flower aaya. Uske baad ye bade gaane. This doesn't grow. So ye isa branch karega. Isa branch banayega. इस ब्रांच के ऊपर फ्लावर आएगा इस ब्रांच के ऊपर भी एक फ्लावर आएगा छोटे वाले फ्लावर्स नाउ दिस डजेंट ग्रो फर्दर ये दो और ब्रांच प्रोड्यूस करेगा इस उसके ऊपर यू विल सी फ्लावर्स सो ये साइमोस का बिल्कुल ऑपोजिट है दिस इज कंप्लीटली ऑपोजिट ऑफ साइमोस इन फ्लोरसेंस यहां पर यू कैन सी देर इज नो इनडेफिनाइट ग्रोथ सो यू विल सी ओवर हियर यू विल सी ओवर हियर it has definite so it has definite growth or big flowers are at the tip or young flowers are at the base big is uh, older flowers are at the tip aise wale inflorescence ko aise wale arrangement ko hum bolenge basipetal it is opposite of acropetal this is अरेंजमेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ द इन फ्लॉरस सो यू कैन सी ओल्डर फ्लावर्स आर एट द टिप एंड यंगर फ्लावर्स आर एट द बेस यहां पर क्या हुआ था ओल्डर फ्लावर्स वेर एट द बेस एंड यंगर फ्लावर्स वेर एट द टिप ओके दिस इज कंप्लीटली ऑपोजिट ऑफ एक्रोपेट राइट नाउ so we will just read this part in the textbook
So next is Infra. What is Sir teaching you all at present, Pune batch? No idea. Your biology sir is teaching you something. No, what is he teaching? Cell. He's teaching cell. Yes. Fine. So next is inflorescence. A flower is a modified shoot wherein the shoot apical meristem changes to floral meristem. So shoot apical meristem, मतलब कोई भी meristem जो vegetative part दे रहा था अभी वो बन जाता है floral meristem. Internodes do not elongate and their axis is condensed. ये बाद में पढ़ेंगे ये क्या है? The apex produces different kinds of floral appendages, laterally successive nodes instead of leaves. When the shoot tip transforms into a flower, it is usually solitary. अगर एक ही flower है उसको solitary inflorescence बोलते हैं. Arrangement of flowers on the floral axis is termed as inflorescence. Depending on whether the apex gets developed into a flower or continues to grow, we have two major types of inflorescence. So, continues to go kiss me, racemose. Or inflorescence has a definite growth, cymose. In racemose type of inflorescence, the main axis continues to grow. The flowers are born laterally in an acropetal succession. Ye bahut important hai. You see acropetal succession in racemose. See, this is a racemose example. Young flowers are at the tip, older flowers are at the base. In example for this is Brassicaceae and uh, Fabaceae. Cymose inflorescence, the main axis terminates in the flower, hence it is uh, hence is a limited growth. The flower are born in bessipetal order. Bessipetal. I made a mistake over the spelling. Mr. Bessipetal lika. It is bessipetal. It's clearly an example. Write down example for cymose inflorescence over here. It says, Solanaceae family, Solanaceae and uh, Liliaceae. Ma'am, can you spell out Solanaceae? S O L A, I will write properly. For cymos inflorescence, these two are the examples for cymos inflorescence. Understood? Over. Shall I move back to, can I go back to the PPT? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is a flower? Flower, we call flower as a condensed shoot. Why do I say flower as a condensed shoot is? So let me consider this as a stem. And you know, every stem is having nodes. And on the nodes, you have leaves. Now, flower is a kind of a stem. But in every node, instead of leaves, leaves changes into Leaves will develop into different structure. It's called sepals. Or it's structure. Banayega. All these are leaf structures. Petals. You will see. Stamens. And you will see. Pistol. This is pistol. Stamens. Petal and Sepals. What are these? These are nothing but leaves. Leaves are modified into this. So, this is the flower. This is the compressed. This is the compressed. 
to na aisa bhi it is going to form like this kind of structure if you compress this from the top it is going to form a kind of structure like this so in the most there will be pistil second whorl will be stamens third whorl will be uh, petals fourth whorl will be stamens so if you condense it upar se condense karoge so that is the what is shoot so what is a flower it is a condensed shoot understood why we call flower as a condensed shoot upar se if you compress it or internodes are go, the internodes are going to lose their length when internodes lose their length when internodes lose their length they look like this they become a flower so that's why we call flower as a condensed shoot and next let's see the parts of a flower you know these parts of the flower so the stalk of the this is the stalk of the flower stalk of the flower is known as pedicel okay a uh, better you'll make a table or oh, this is how see i was saying a condensed shoot dekho first whorl is sepal ye hai pedicel so the first node mein hai sepal second node mein hai petal third node mein hai stamens uske baad aayega carpels upar se isko condense kar raha hu ye dikhega aisa like this it will okay so internodes are in there nodes are there in a flower internodes are in there okay yeah so uh, just write down stalk of we'll write down all the stalks whatever we studied stalk of leaf is known as petiole petiole okay same thing stalk of flower is known as pedicel pedicel stalk of inflorescence is known as peduncle inflorescence is known as peduncle peduncle okay write down this
Okay, so these are the paths, sepal, petal, stamens, and carpels. Okay. Next, we will move to what is a complete flower and an incomplete flower. A flower is said to be a complete flower when stamen and carpel. What is stamen? Stamen is the male reproductive structure and carpel is the female reproductive structure. When these two are present in a plant. If stamen is also there and a pet, a carpel is also there. Stamen is male reproductive structure and carpel is female reproductive structure. We call it as bisexual flower. And the symbol used is this one. This is the symbol which we use. Male flowers, if there is only, if there is sepal, petal, stamens, but not carpels, it is called as male flower. And we say it as staminate. Okay, staminate. And this is the symbol which is used. For male flowers, we use the symbol like this. Okay, male flowers. Only male structure is there. In female structure, you will find female flower, you will find sepal, petal, and only carpal. Stamen is absent. So you will give a symbol of a female, and the female symbol is like this. If both are present, just uh, combine these two. This is a symbol. These two flowers are known as these two flowers are known as unisexual flowers. Okay. These are unisexual flowers. Did you understand? What is a complete flower? Both male and female reproductive structure should be there. So a bisexual flower is a complete flower. Any one world is missing, then I will say incomplete flower. Next, we will learn another term which is known as isomery. What is isomery? A flower part with multiple of some common number. Okay. If a flower part has some multiple of common number, it is known as isomer. Uh, like, dekho, agar ek plant mein na, how, what is isomer? I'll give you an example. A common multiple mein hota hai. देखो एक प्लांट में पांच सेपल्स है पांच पेटल्स है पांच स्टेमन्स है एक्सेप्ट पिस्टल मतलब पिस्टल का मतलब कार्पल हम लोग फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर को काउंट नहीं करते हैं वी आर ओनली काउंटिंग द सेपल्स पेटल्स और स्टेमन्स अगर एक प्लांट में पांच सेपल्स है आ, सोचो कि दस पेटल्स है और पंद्रह स्टेमन्स है तो ये मल्टीपल्स ऑफ किस नंबर में है इट इज इन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फाइव नो फाइव वन फाइव फाइव टू टेन फाइव थ्री फिफ्टीन इट इज इन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फाइव सो उस प्लांट उस फ्लावर का नाम होगा पेंटामेरस फ्लावर मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फाइव में है इसके लिए एग्जांपल इज सोलनीसी एंड फैबीसी वो है पेंटामेरस फ्लावर अगर एक प्लांट में चार स्टेमेंट्स है पेटल्स uh, भी चार है ओके okay. 
और स्टेमेंट्स आठ है ये क्या हुआ मल्टीपल्स ऑफ किस नंबर विच नंबर दिस इज मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फोर नो सो वी विल कॉल इट अस फ्लावर एग्जाम्पल ओके अभी लिलियसी इज एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर ट्राइमरस शायद लगता है इसका सेपल्स होगा तीन पेटल्स होगा छ और स्टेमस होगा नाइन ऐसे वाले फ्लावर को बोलेंगे ट्राइमरस फ्लावर क्योंकि ये है मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री में ओके एनी नंबर इट कैन बी इट कैन बी थ्री थ्री सिक्स कुछ भी बट मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री में है ना इसलिए ट्राइमरस फ्लावर ओके सो आइसो मेरी मतलब फ्लावर पार्ट शुड बी इन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ सम कॉमन नंबर अगर प्लांट uh, में है दो स्टेमस uh, चार पेटल्स और चार दो मैं बोलती थी एक प्लांट में है देर इज एक प्लांट है एक प्लांट में है दो स्टेमन दो सेपल्स चार पेटल्स और छ स्टेमन वॉट इज दिस विच मल्टीपल इज दिस Which multiple is this in? Which multiple? अरे इतना आसान है टू फोर सिक्स किस मल्टीपल में है मल्टीपल्स ऑफ टू नो सो कैन आई कॉल इट एज डायमरस फ्लावर हाँ उसको डायमरस फ्लावर बोलते हैं सिंपल Are you understanding this? Yes, ma'am. Ronald, did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Aniket, Christabel, are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it is in multiples of this. Just copy this slide and then we'll uh, wind up the class. Bore to watch, please. Done, Fine. Okay. One small thing we will see after that we'll wind up this class. This is a very small thing. You know what is symmetry? Isomery is multiples. कुछ multiples में होता है. Multiples of some common number. Symmetry मतलब when you cut the flower, you should get two equal halves. If you cut the flower, you are not going to get any equal halves. जैसे पोरीफेरा को cut करोगे, you are not going to get equal halves. No. तो उसको क्या बोलते हैं हम s रेडियली या फिर एक्टिनोमोफिक फ्लावर ओके उसके लिए सिंबल यूज होगा ये सिंबल क्या है रेडियल एक्टिनोमोफिक के लिए एक प्लस साइन करो और Example for this is uh, in your families में 
uh, right now this is not required examples for radially symmetrically brassy casey brassy casey solanesi Example for radial symmetry is brassicacy, solanacy, symmetry. Any direction you cut, you're going to get equal half. So, it's called actinomorphic flower. Bolte hai. Symbol is this. A flower ko ekhi direction mein. One, when you cut it in only one plane, you'll get two equal halves. Usko bolenge bilateral symmetry or zygomorphic. Fabaceae is the family which is showing this kind of similarity. Okay, this symbol is percentage symbol. Okay, now I want you all to open the four families in your textbook and tell me, looking at the symbols, you are going to talk, uh, you are going to say that. Okay, did you understand this part? Did you understand? Yes or no? No, I am going to repeat. Why you all take so long? Ma'am, can you repeat? Okay, which one do you want me to repeat? Whole thing? No, the first two only. I understood the asymmetrical part. So, if part. you cut the flower, okay, asymmetrical part. You cut this flower. See, this is the asymmetrical flower. Cut it no, in no, any... I understood the asymmetrical part. The first two I want you to repeat. This one? First two, yeah. Okay. So, radially symmetrical is, I can cut this flower in this direction. I will get two equal halves. If I cut in this plane, again, I will get two equal halves. If I cut it in this plane, in, again, I will get two equal halves. It's like a circle. Any place you cut it, you will get equal halves. Like, echinodermata, you remember? And coelentrata, we had said radial symmetry, no? So, they are radial symmetry. So, other name of radial symmetry is actinomorphic. The other name is actinomorphic. In floral diagram, we put a symbol. And this is the symbol given for radial symmetry. Write a plus inside a circle. Got it? Christopher got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, bilateral symmetrical is, it's like a... Our body. Our body, uh, you can cut this plant, flower only in one direction. If you cut it in this this plane, you will get two equal halves. If you cut it like this, you are not going to get two equal halves. Only this is the part which will give you two equal halves. So, we call it as bilateral symmetrical. The other name is zygomorphic. And the symbol is this symbol you are going to use. Percentage symbol. Example is Fabis. That's it. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Finish writing it. Everybody. Okay. Shall we wind up the class? Take a screenshot if you have not written. No, I am done writing. Okay, fine. So, we will wind up the class. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, ma'am. Bye-bye.